think it's talk of, time to talk about floor framing. Now, when I first built houses a long time ago, the floor joists would be made of pieces of 2x10 or 2x12 lumber, either spruce pine or fir. Fir was more expensive and stiffer, uh, but both of them had one big drawback. If, it's, if the floor joists are made of lumber, even if they've been kiln dried, those floor joists will shrink. A 2x12 will shrink easily half an inch after the air is dried out inside the house. And when you have the floor shrinking, the floor joist shrinking, then that's going to give rise to squeaks. And, and you'll have a floor that, even though you may have screwed it down and nailed it down and glued it down, when the wood shrinks someplace, there's going to be a little give and you'll have a squeaky floor. So that was a problem. Another problem with building things with, with uh, heavy lumber like that, 2x12s and 2x10s, is that the main beam would also be made of 2x12s or 2x10s and it would shrink. And so after a year or two, the middle of the house would be half an inch lower than the outside edges because that main beam would have shrunk. That's the reason that the telepost, remember down in the basement we have these round steel posts with a, a bolt on top? After the house had been lived in for a year or so, someone should go down in the basement and turn the telepost to raise it so that the floor would be level. So those were problems, I mean not insurmountable problems, but there is a better system. In the same way that ICFs, concrete forms, are a big innovation in building construction, in my opinion, another innovation almost as important is the development of, of the wooden I-beam. So instead of these 2x10s and 2x12s, we have a piece of OSB with uh, another piece of either uh, a plywood or perhaps just solid lumber across the top and bottom. The cross section of it looks like an I, and when they're manufactured, they can make them very long. I'm not sure what the longest possible length is, but I think probably 60 feet. They, they can make them very long. So that if you have a, quite a big building, you can have continuous runs of these uh, wooden I-beams. They never shrink because it's oriented strand board on edge. It's not going to shrink and change in height. So they don't shrink. And for that reason, when you if you glue and screw down the subfloor properly, it'll never squeak. It's solid. Well, any floor is only as solid as the support underneath. So the, the wooden I-beam doesn't sag too much in length, but obviously if it's 60 feet long, it's going to sag. So there have to be supports underneath. But compared to a similar sized piece of, uh, piece of 2x10 or 2x12, it's stronger. It's, it's wonderful stuff. It's light, it's easy to work with, and it makes a very solid floor. Is there any disadvantage? Well, most people don't talk about this, but personally, I try to minimize the use of oriented strand board on the interior of a house because they say, some people think, that these uh, manufactured products, which have got a lot of glue used to, to um, uh, hold all the wooden fibers together, that that's off-gassing, giving some toxic fumes that go into the house. Um, I don't know if that's true. In any case, if your house is properly ventilated, there aren't, isn't going to be a buildup of toxic gases. But then every house isn't properly ventilated. We'll talk more about that later as we get to a, a lesson later on. So for now, I'd like you to watch two videos. The first one is, is I'm sorry, it's kind of boring. It's a, a young couple uh, building the floor of their cabin. I think it only lasts a little over eight minutes. And it just shows you the wooden I-beams and the, the board that they put around the perimeter at the end of, the, of those I-beams. And then the other video is one that you, uh, is part of a series that you watched, which was the first video you watched. So I'd like you to watch that one. It lasts about half an hour, but I only want you to watch it up until, and I've got to see how many minutes here, until 11 minutes and 39 seconds, okay? I, I really like the video, the one that's called the most in-depth comprehensive new, new home house construction video. Uh, it, the man is a real estate agent. He doesn't always use the correct terminology for the 
parts of the house that he's describing, but he does a very good job of showing you all the various parts. So I'd like you to watch 11 minutes and 39 seconds of that video, and, and in that he talks about the wooden I-beam used to frame the floor. So, happy uh, video watching, and don't forget there'll be a few questions just to make sure you've been paying attention while you watch the video.